everyone, welcome to Dot Dot Toys. Today we'll be using this Play-Doh Shape and Learn set to learn about graphing. And in this set we have some tubes, some accessories, some mats that are going to help us with graphing also, and of course we have our Play-Doh. So let's have some fun. First let's open this up and see what we have inside. First, we're going to be making some different insects and animals and even leaves with these molds. So let's get started. I'm going to be using this color first, which is the color orange. Now let's place our insects and animals and leaves in a little tube so I can do a different color. Now let's do the color green. Let's do a dragonfly. Do a butterfly too. Now let's place our green insects in our green tube. And save them for later. And now let's go to our next color. Let's use the blue color now. Let's do a little snail. Mm -hmm. 
Bumblebee again. An inch row. And some butterflies. Now let's place our blue animals and insects in our blue tube. Here we have some plain looking trees. Let's see if we can make them more colorful. First, I'm going to place my orange insects and leaves and animals. Let's count and see how many we have. One, two, three, four. Five, six. So here we have six buggies and leaves in this tree. Let's see if we can write the number six right over here. And I'm going to use this nifty toothpick to, to help me. Here you go, the number six. Let's go to our next tree. Let's see how many buggies we have on this tree. Let's count. One. Two. How many buggies? That's right, two buggies. Now let's write the number two here using my nifty toothpick. Pretty good. Let's go to my last tree. Here we have our last tree. Let's see how many blue buggies and leaves we put on this tree. Let's count. One. Two, three, four, five. Five blue buggies and animals in this tree. Now let's write the number five right here. Here you go, number five. Now our trees look a lot more colorful. Now we're gonna put this information and we're going to place it in a picture graph. I'm gonna show you what a picture graph looks like. Let's start with my blue buggies first. See how there's numbers here on the bottom? For each number, I'm gonna place one little buggy on top of that number. So let's begin. So here's our first one. So one, two, three, four, five. How many buggies do we have that are blue? One, two, three, four, five. That's right, good job. Let's write the number five right over here in the beginning. Now we're going to go into our green buggies. Let's see how many green buggies we have. One, 
two. How many green buggies do we got? That's right. One, two. Let's write the number two right over here. And last, we're going to see how many orange buggies we have. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many orange buggies do we have? That's right, six. All the way up here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's go all the way down. What number did we land on? That's right, the number six. So let's write the number six right over here. Wow, good job. Do you know what you just did? You just organized all of our little critters and buggies and leaves into this picture graph. Now we have something called data. Data is a fancy word for information. Our information is we have five blue critters, two green critters, and six orange critters. And you see how they all go across? This is called horizontal. So we were graphing horizontally, meaning going across. Now we're going to graph vertically. Vertically is a fancy word for going up and down, up and down. Now we're going to take our data and we're going to graph it, but this time going vertically, up and down. So let's start this time with the orange critters. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six orange critters. Now let's do green. One, two. How many green critters? That's right, two green critters. Let's do our last one, blue. One, two, three, four, five. How many blue critters do we have? That's right, five blue critters. We have six orange critters, two green critters, and five blue critters. Do you know what you just did here? You graphed doing it vertically, up and down. See how they're all on top of each other? This is vertically, going from bottom to top, top to bottom. It's a fancy word. Can you say vertically? Good job. Now let's make some more insects so I can show you a different type of graph. Let's count how many purple critters we have. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six purple critters. Now I'm gonna take that data and make a bar graph all the way up to the number six. Let's see how I do it. See how that looks like a bar? Started at one and it went all the way up to number six to go with our six purple critters. Now let's do yellow. How many yellow critters do we have? Just one. So now I'm gonna make a bar graph to show that we have one yellow critter.
Now we have a bar graph to represent one yellow critter. It all goes all the way up to the number one. Next one we're going to do blue. Let's see how many blue critters we have. Let's count. One, two, three, four. Four blue critters. Now let's make a bar graph to show that we have four blue critters. Here is a blue bar graph to show that we have four blue critters. Here's the number four, it goes all the way across and it ends right here. And last, we're gonna do red. How many red critters do we have? Let's count. One, two, three. Three red critters. Let's make our bar graph. Now we have our last bar to show that we have three red critters. And here it is, our complete bar graph of how many critters we have. Last thing we need to do, I'm just going to write the number underneath each bar. So here, who can tell me how many purple critters did we have? That's right, six. Here we have the number six for our six purple critters. Now we're going to do how many for yellow? That's right, one. One for our yellow critters. Now we're going to do blue. How many for blue do we have? Go all the way up. Stop here, go across. What number did we land on? That's right, four. Four blue critters. number four right here. Last bar is our red critters. How many red critters do we have? Go all the way up, go across this way. Where do we land on? That's right, three. So let's write the number three right here. And here we have the number four. Four red critters. Here we have a bar graph that shows data about how many critters we had of different colors. Let me ask you some questions. Which color did we have the least of? Good job. Number one, we only had one yellow critter. Which color did we have the most of? That's right, purple. How many did we have of purple? Go all the way up. What number does it stop on? That's right, six. Very good. Well, I hope you really enjoyed learning about graphing, both picture graphs and bar graphs. If you like what you saw, please give us a thumbs up. And if you're new, please don't forget to subscribe right over here.